Today I'm going to show you how to create an additional YouTube account that's under your existing Google account. After it's set up, you'll be able to easily switch between the two channels without a second set of login credentials. I'll be using my phone to do this. The process is much easier on PC and I made a whole separate video showing that process. See the link in the description. Even though we will be setting it up by phone, we will not be using the YouTube app to do it. For whatever reason, it doesn't let us. Instead, we'll be using the web version of YouTube. You can get there by opening up a web browser like Chrome or Safari and doing a search on the term YouTube. I'm using Chrome here. Unfortunately for many of you, entering into the web version of YouTube will force you into the YouTube app, which is not what we want. If this happens to you, do this bypass. On your web browser, you should have something called incognito mode or private mode. On Chrome, I can get there by selecting the three dots and selecting new incognito tab. Then in the search bar above, you can search on YouTube and go into it that way. If you're using Safari, you can do the same thing by selecting the tab button at the bottom right, then selecting the drop down at the bottom then selecting private. Once you've done the bypass, it'll display a web version of the site, but it's the mobile friendly version. We want the desktop version. In Chrome, you can switch to it by clicking the three dots and then selecting desktop site. In Safari, you can do the same thing by selecting the AA symbol on the top left. If you're using Edge, click the three bars on the bottom right. If you're using any other browser, just search around and find the option to switch to desktop mode. With the desktop mode in place, things are going to look very small. You may be able to see it better if you tilt the phone horizontally. To make things easier for you to see, I'm going to show the rest of this footage using my PC, but it should more or less match what you're seeing on your phone. So next, sign into your existing channel if you're not already signed in. Then in the top right corner, click your channel avatar and underneath it, click settings. Then add or manage your channels. Then create a channel. Type in what you want your channel name to be, then click that checkbox underneath it and then click create. You will get a message saying that this channel does not exist, which is odd because it does exist. You can get to it by going to the top right and clicking on the generic avatar it gave you and underneath it click your channel. It'll bring you to your new channel's main page, and from there you can upload a video if you have one. Note that at this point your videos have to be less than 15 minutes long. It will allow you to upload ones longer than that, but they will end up not processing, and it'll look like this in YouTube Studio it will never resume from that point forward. In order to get past the 15 minute cap, you have to verify your new channel account. To do that, make sure you're signed in to your new channel in YouTube, then go to the URL line at the top and type in youtube.com slash verify. I'll put a link in the description to the same URL. From that screen, it'll walk you through the simple steps to getting your account verified. Within minutes, you'll be able to upload videos longer than 15 minutes. Note that your new channel will not be monetized just because your old channel was. You will have to meet the monetization requirements all over again for the new channel. Also note, even though this is your second channel, YouTube is going to act like you're new to everything and it's going to bombard you with pop-up messages that explain what everything does. With your channel up and running, I suggest you go to Customize Channel, which brings you to a page where you can upload a custom avatar photo and channel art, and you can add a channel description and set up your channel trailers if you want to use them. With your second account established, you can now switch between them at any time by clicking on the avatar and selecting Switch Account. Did this video go well for you? Let me know if it did or didn't. Have a great day.